Wireless headphones. It's a super subjective topic to discuss, particularly because you know there are a variety of headphones in the market right now that offer everything from you know basic functionalities like just being able to give you the freedom of being wireless to headphones that have uber high end features. For example, this, my friends, is the Sennheiser PXE 550s, and they're really geared towards travel. So if you're someone who's looking to um, you know not compromise on things like uh, sound quality, design, build, and for the most part, if you're looking for a headset with noise canceling characteristics this might be appealing to you. The problem is the price, because it costs $350. That's expensive. So let's find out if it's any good right after this. Optimize your desk space with Tesoro's new Gram Spectrum TKL keyboard with a compact steel frame and low profile keycaps, removable cable and sweet illumination. Plus your choice of Tesoro's agile blue or red switches to satisfy those fingers. See if the Gram Spectrum TKL keyboards for you, links below. So guys, Techtober has been crazy, and I know a lot of you guys know that well more than I do because I've been traveling a lot lately for launch events here and there, and it's been quite a tiring process, but I'm glad to be home safe and sound uh, in my normal workspace so I can get back to work. But over the course of that time, I've actually been using the PXE 550s, not just for listening to music and watching movies on the plane with the noise canceling feature on, I'll get to that later, but also I've used this to edit my videos on the go uh, so this is going to be more of a real-world user's perspective on living with the PXE 550s. So why don't we get started? First up, design and build, and these get a solid 10 out of 10 in my books. It's robust, very flexible, and they've used a good combination of hard plastic materials and a solid metal frame. Not to mention, I've not experienced any creaks, and that's to be expected considering the price. The ear cups feature this matte silicon-like finish that's softer to the touch, although I'm worried about how long it would stay that way over long-term use, but I would gladly take this material surface over any glossy plastic finishes any time of the day. I should also mention that the clamping force was a bit too strong for my taste, but that's because I have a larger head. The leather ear pads provide a good seal and a nice snug fit, plus I never found myself sweating while wearing them, so that's nice. Now you might find this to be a little bit gross, but hear me out for a second. If I'm wearing these or if I'm resting these around my neck and if I go out to grab a cup of coffee or something like that, and if I'm maneuvering my head around, it actually picks up, the ear cups actually grab onto my beard hair and it kind of hurts a lot. So, uh, you know, if you're someone like me who's actually rocking a beard, and if you're thinking of picking the PXE 550s, certainly keep that in mind because you're not going to like those beard hairs just getting stuck here and there. Now, out of the box, you do get this nice carrying case, but I did wish if it included a loop so that I could tag it along with my backpack. Uh, but rest aside, you do get an airplane adapter, a micro USB to USB cable to charge the headphones, a 2.5mm to 3.5mm cable, and a quarter inch adapter. The setup process is actually pretty straightforward. Uh, all you have to do is just twist the ear cups and then it'll automatically turn on the headset. Now, Sennheiser has built a voice assistant into the headset, so it actually prompts you on certain things like you know powering on, powering off, and if you have multiple devices connected to the headset, it'll say things like phone one connected, phone two connected, phone three connected. Uh, again, it's pretty nice. It's I think it's a good guide uh, when it comes to giving you an idea on what's happening, but sometimes it gets really annoying, especially when you get to like a 20% battery level. It says battery down, recharge me, and it keeps continuing. It'll, it'll start continuing to say that after like 10 or 15 minutes, and it's constant. Now, you do have the option to turn off voice prompts through Sennheiser's Captune app, which is a dedicated app for both the Android or the iOS store. Um, the problem is that if you just have this headset paired to a laptop, you actually won't have the ability to turn on the voice prompt feature because it's not directly feeding into the settings of the headset. It's more of a software pairing methodology. I'm not sure why that's the case, but again, it's something to be noted. My biggest annoyance with the PXE 550s is the lack of a physical on off switch. This whole d twist to you know turn on the headset is a complete, it's a complete failure in my opinion because for instance, you know, if I'm listening to music on, on the go and if I'm if I take them off and if I rest them beside my notebook or something, and if I go out for a coffee or a drive, and if I come back, I've probably lost like 5% or 10% of the battery uh, with this headset. And that's that's pretty odd because it doesn't have a you know smart feature where it puts the headphone to sleep because right now if I hold it this way, which is probably the most obvious way to store your headset, it's still on guys. This is still on, it's still draining battery. So you have to physically fold the headset or twist it to turn off. Again, that's an extra step. And then fold it that way, store it in your case, and 
you can conserve battery that way because this is this is off this is the off position now pairing on the other hand is by far the fastest experience with the pxc 550s so if your smartphone features nfc you just have to tap your phone uh, on the left side of the ear cup and it'll complete that pairing process immediately and automatically it's very fast and convenient or you could use a standard bluetooth pairing procedure uh, if your phone doesn't have nfc and now let's discuss the touchpad located on the right side of the ear cup. So as usual, you get the normal gestures like swiping up and down to adjust the volume, swiping back and forth to skip between tracks. You do also have the option to uh, tap to answer a phone call or tap again to hang up. There are a lot of gestures with this touchpad and it's something that you sort of have to memorize and it's something that you really feel like you have to take advantage of because as far as I'm concerned, you know, I've only used things like volume up and down and skip tracks here and forth and probably hang up or answer phone calls, and that's about it. I haven't used the other gazillion features that Sennheiser has built inside this touch functionality. But again, my biggest concern though was how sensitive it was because, for example, if I'm handling this headphone right now and if I accidentally just tap it, it'll start playing music right away. Check it out. Like, I have to physically be very careful with this touchpad because it's super sensitive. I really wish if they gave us the option to disable uh, the sensitivity or at least to, uh, tune the sensitivity uh, within the app, but that's not the case. It's there, you have to live with it. Now, when it comes to physical buttons, uh, there is the noise guard switch that switches between adaptive and the full noise guard mode that actually completely sil isolates the background noise. Uh, you also have an effect mode button that cycles between different effects or EQs that have custom built or pre-built uh, inside this or within this headset. One of my favorite features of the PXE 550s is the smart pause feature that essentially uh, pauses the music when you automatically take the headphones off of you and then it resumes the music when you put them back on. It's worked pretty much consistently all the time across the board. It hasn't failed on me so far, so that's pretty awesome. But if you don't want to do that, especially if you want to have a conversation with someone or if someone's approaching you to have a conversation with you, Sennheiser's actually implemented something called uh, Talk Through, which is a pretty cool feature that essentially takes advantage of the two microphones that are on the outside of the headphones. So when you quickly double tap on the touch uh, pad, it actually activates that microphone and it starts picking up the ambient noise. And of course, it'll start emphasizing on uh, the acoustic performance or the acoustic levels of that person who's trying to have that conversation with you. So you don't have to physically remove the headset. You can just double tap and start having that conversation uh, which is pretty cool. So having expressed my concerns with the PXE 550s, how do they actually sound in person? Well, in one word, phenomenal. I left the effect mode to its default setting, as I mentioned earlier, and there's fantastic definition in the higher frequencies. The bass is rich and deep when you need it. It's also really tight. And most importantly, if your phone supports Aptex playback, it sounds even better, uh, especially because, you know, I really enjoyed my time listening to my collection of flag files on my Pixel 3, and this phone supports Aptex. So listening to that on the PXE 550s was just phenomenal. It's really immersive. Again, the bass, it's, it's again, super nice. It's crisp. Uh, the frequencies in the high range and the mid range are still very clear and well-defined. Great soundstage. You really won't be disappointed with the sound quality on the PXE 550s because they're really that good. Now, is the noise canceling feature any good? Well, the short answer is yes, and I'll get to that in a little bit, but uh, I just wanna give you a quick synopsis on how this technology works. So there are four microphones in total on this headset. So there are, there are two on the outside and two on the inside. The two on the outside actually filters out the high frequencies and the two on the inside filters out the lower frequencies. So when you combine them together, it actually gives you a good isolation of the surrounding environment. And it works really well, especially when you're in an airplane. It does a good job sort of uh, isolating and filtering out the jet noise. So you can actually focus a lot on the content that you're listening to or watching. Um, and for the most part, it, it's less minimal or I guess it's less beneficial if you're in a quiet space. For example, you know, in my office space, I don't really have to turn on noise canceling because it's pretty quiet and you're really not going to be gaining anything out of it. Uh, in noisy environments, it certainly does a really good job. But I do want to point out that if you don't have any music or any content playing in the background, it feels like you're in a vacuum space. And it's very hard to describe that uh, because after using them for quite some time, especially when you're on a flight and when you're ascending and descending, it feels like one of your ears need to pop after uh, that trip because, it, it again, it's just that extra feeling that you get and it goes away after a few hours, but again, I just wanted to bring that up. But overall, as someone who's tried noise canceling headphones for the first time, this is certainly life-changing. I certainly cannot leave my house 
without these because you know if i'm traveling these are certainly going to come with me now another factor to discuss is battery life and i'm happy to report that it has been excellent on the pxc 550s i was easily able to get well over 20 hours of use with this guy uh, and of course i've taken it to long trips with me to beijing and i didn't run into any instances where i had to constantly plug in my headphones and one last thing that i want to quickly talk about is the microphone quality so in quieter environments it's very well done it actually picks up the voice pretty clearly but if you're in a chaotic environment, so for example, if you're you know, walking through the streets where it's really noisy, there's absolutely zero noise cancellation. So the person on the other end will definitely have a difficult time hearing you. For our Canadian audience, Memory Express is a place to go for home, business, and gaming electronics. You can try before you buy, especially great for peripherals, by visiting one of their stores in Winnipeg, Calgary, or Greater Vancouver, and more. They do custom PCs and will beat any Canadian price guaranteed. So, in conclusion, the PXC 550s from Sennheiser are by far the smartest headphones that I've ever encountered in my life. Trust me, I've encountered gaming headsets, I've encountered wireless gaming headsets as well, but this, my friends, is taking things to a whole new level, and it has its own downsides. So, it sounds great, it's got a great design and build quality, I actually like the way how it looks, and Sennheiser has nailed all the basic departments or the basic bullet points that you're looking for in a headset in the first place. It's the other features that come along with this headset that's just a little bit overwhelming. So the touchpad is way too sensitive. It's got a gazillion gestures that you still have to get used to and you have to sort of learn and adapt towards. The other thing is of course, the lack of a physical on off switch because the fact that you have to turn them on, right now it's on, and the fact that you have to twist the ear cups to turn it off is just absolutely, it's not practical. So from a usability standpoint, I just, I just can't use the PXC 550s because they've got its own quirks. Now, if you feel like you're gonna be taking advantage of everything, all the features like gesture controls and you don't actually mind the on off switch, the $350 price tag might be justifiable to you. But if you're someone who's just looking for a basic good pair of headphones that sound great with good noise canceling characteristics and you don't really care about gestures and all that kind of stuff, I'm running out of words now. <laughs> I can't really recommend the PXC 550s because I, there could be better options out there. Before I wrap things up, I just do want to quickly bring up something for our Canadian followers here on YouTube. Sennheiser has actually opened up a main headquarters here in Montreal, Quebec, and essentially, you know, they were kind enough to invite us over there to just take a quick tour of what they have. Uh, and what's cool is that if you have a Sennheiser product and if it has issues, the RMA process is actually going to be a lot more simpler and easier, especially if you live in Canada. So you can just ship it directly to Montreal. And if you live locally, you can bring it to the office and they'll actually inspect it and find out what's wrong. It was really cool just checking out the facility and the testing center to see what tools they use to troubleshoot and uh, figure things out. It was really quite an ex awesome experience. So it's good news for Canadians who, are, who own Sennheiser products. Uh, but that's about it, guys. I'm Evo with Hardware Connects. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to check out some relevant content over here. Subscribe to your new Boot Sequence channel for the latest tech news and rumors. I'm signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.